Hi, Michael Hurwich here for CreativeCow.net with an introduction to the data operator and data presets in the particle flow system in 3ds Max 2014. This is the first time that this is available as a free standard part of the product. Previously it was available under subscription and before that as a paid plugin. So I'm going to start by creating a particle system. Particle flow source. Just click there, drag that out, and right click. So let's just see what we have right now. Okay, so we have those particles going down like that. Now I'll go to the Modify tab and click on Particle View. So there's our standard particle flow. And we're going to add this data operator just before the display. Now so far that doesn't change anything. And we wouldn't expect it to because if we go to this data operator and click on Edit Data Flow, we can see that that data flow is empty right now. So let's create a data flow. I'm going to start by putting in a standard output. And you can read the description down here. It transfers calculated data into regular particle properties. So basically, this will take whatever we calculate in here and put it back into the main flow. And it's looking for a position vector. So the vector has three elements, x, y, and z. We're also going to take an input standard. That's also a position vector. It copies regular particle properties into this flow. So we're going to take the particle properties from the main flow, copy them in here, and eventually we'll put them back in again. But in between, we'll process them. For the processing, I'm going to use a function that adds two vectors. One of the vectors is going to be this initial position vector that's coming in from this flow. The other one will be just a vector that I'll define. I'm going to hook that up right here. And I'm going to take this vector that comes out of these two vectors being added together. By the way, looking at this, this is addition. There's a lot of other possibilities for what kind of a operation you want to do on your properties, but I'll just stick with addition. And then connect that to the output. So this is going to add one unit of X direction to each particle at each frame. So let's go to this and let's up that. Right now it's just one unit at each frame. So let's make that 100 units and you notice it's reflected out here. So let's try clicking Auto Update on this data operator. Yes. So you can see now that that's shooting off in the X direction at quite a rapid rate. You'll also notice that these are bunched up. It's not an even flow anymore. That's because we go to the particle view We've got 200 particles being created in 30 frames. So that's about six or seven particles per frame. We'd expect there to be six or seven particles per bunch. I'm going to come in a little closer on this again, middle mouse button here to drag this. Actually, we're seeing about three or four particles. And that is because we're only set to see about 50% of the particles. If we make that 100% of the particles, we can see that there are six or seven particles in each bunch. Again, that's because by default, this data operator is operating on absolute time, which means once every frame. Now, supposing I really like this, and this is something that I want to save and possibly use in other projects. I can go to the data operator 
and Save Preset. Brings up this Save Data Operator Preset. I'm just going to give it a name. I'll call it X100 since it accelerates things in the X direction by 100 units. And just click OK. Tells me the preset file has been created. Click OK on that. So now let's just get rid of this data operator. Right click and delete. Bring a new data operator in again. Go to Edit Data Flow. Right now that's empty, but I can go to Load Preset. It warns me that this will wipe out whatever I have in my data operator right now. I'll click OK, and there's my preset, X100. Click on that, click OK. Now when I go to Edit Data Flow, I have my preset back again. Now you'll notice there are a lot of other presets there. These are the presets that come with 3ds Max. So for example, I can click on Blur Wind. Now go to Edit Data Flow. And I've got this whole Blur Wind preset. You can go into each one of these and you can change the parameters and settings of each and every part of this flow. And then you could save your modified flow as another preset as well. So I'm just going to delete this now, so we're back to just a standard particle flow. Another thing I want to point out is that you also have some of these presets out here in the main depot. So you can just drag those up. And there is a user interface exposed for each one of these. Now this does not allow you to go in and edit the flow itself. It just lets you work with the exposed user interface. Let me just delete that again. When you have the data operator here, and you load that preset into it, you get that same user interface down here. So here you have a choice. You can either work with the exposed user interface, or you can go in and edit the data flow. Just going to delete that again. Whereas here, you can only work with the exposed interface. One other thing I want to mention is how to delete a preset that you've created. So here you can see that it's created two files, an x100.pfp, x100.pfp.xml. In my case, these were stored on drive C, users, my username here is HP, app data, local, Autodesk, 3ds Max, 2014, 64-bit, EN, ENUS, plug CFG. So you have to search for these files, and you can just delete them, and that will delete the preset. So there you have a brief introduction to the data operator and data presets. The data operator basically allows you to use mathematical operations with a graphical user interface to affect your particles. And data presets allow you to save your creations and reuse them again conveniently in future projects. I hope this has been helpful, and thanks for tuning in.